Hey, what's up guys, TechNotice here, and this is just an updated video to iOS 11 Beta 2 running on Apple CarPlay. So not many things have changed. You have the, the typical eight icons right here. You have phone, music, maps, messaging, and a bunch of other ones at the bottom. You can download third-party apps, but I just prefer not to since they're pretty useless while you're driving. But here we have the phone app. Let's just click onto that and see what's new. You do have the new Siri icon that comes with iOS 11 in general. And Who would you like to call? And Siri is very damn loud. I don't want to call anybody right now, we'll just hit contacts. And you have favorites, recent contacts, keypad, and voicemail. We'll just go through each one and I'll give you guys a look at what's new. So you got a bunch of my contacts right there. You, you guys can give them a call just for kicks. You have my contacts. I'm going to scroll through a bunch of them. Not Nothing really new here. You have keypad, you have voicemail, and yeah. So in the keypads, you guys would expect this to be updated as well, like filled in gray or something. It definitely is not. It's the same color as the background. I hope they add some kind of like multitasking or like drag off the screen, but doesn't seem like it's coming with any future betas right now. The bottom, you have a timer, signal bars, and you have 3G or LTE depending on what you have it set on. But now instead of the dots, you have the signal bars back again. Like they are a little bit fatter if you guys notice, and this was due to like antenna gate where they switched over to the dots, but they are back and they're missing one icon or one signal bar. So if you guys have the Apple Music subscription, you would have this. You guys download a bunch of things. Pretty standard, nothing new there. So if you guys haven't watched my other uh, iOS 11 Beta 2 CarPlay video, map shows quite a bit now. So you have the icons, the 3D view, you have directions. You even have a bunch of traffic where they updated and this is a big upgrade over iOS 9 and 10 right now because I've been using iOS 9 maps for a while. I haven't really experienced iOS 11 but you have the, the scrolling around so you can pan around wherever you want to go. You can zoom back out and in. So these are all your uh, POI point of interest. You have gas bar, parking, this and that. Let's just hit one of these random locations right here. So we'll just hit that and you have this mark location, your time of arrival. A brand new like layout right here seems really nice and you have more routes let's just choose one of them and hit go so you can see at the top we have this tap for uh, light guidance we have tap for full guidance it wasn't working with beta 1 you would just have an empty uh, an empty box right there just black exactly as you see right now but without that icon got pretty annoying beta 2 fixed that you have this permanent uh, time of arrival thing down here with the kilometers and what I notice now with maps is there's no way to keep it as a flat view it's always in 3D so let's just say I'm turning at a say like an 80 degree uh, angle or something like that this, this guy would be tilting with me there's no way to keep them straight uh, that's something I noticed I really hope that Apple picks that up and fixes it with beta 3 you have the zoom and you have 3D let's tap on 3D see what, what it does so nothing it literally does nothing it kind of squiggles the screen a little bit so if you do tap this you get a voice prompt I have that turned off but let's just tap to see what it does proceed to the route then turn right onto East 39th Avenue what's the weather Siri So honestly, Siri sucks right now. Uh, with iOS 11, any betas, beta 1, beta 2, public beta, Siri doesn't pick up anything. Connected to an Apple Watch or connected to your car, I would rather just go into the apps and do it because she just spins around around like this. Moving on, we have now playing, which is pretty useless since music also has a now playing. It just goes back into music, makes no sense. That We have podcast. And we have auto audio books. I'm just gonna skip two of these since they're pretty uh, just standard. There's nothing new. I would I was hoping for some kind of like a new notification or swipe up for control center or something like that. There's nothing in this update. I would keep doing uh, if I do see anything else or I notice any new features coming up. I will do an updated video as soon as possible. I really hope you guys like this video. Hit subscribe, hit like, and drop me a comment below if you guys want to see anything else.